Here's a small selection of baby and toddler books. Um, so first off, we've got well over 30 of these That's Not My books. This is That's Not My Pig. Each page has a nice little um, texture for babies to explore. And this is great for babies and toddlers. It's repetitive, so they're quickly learning to read to themselves. Um, there's something new for them to explore on each page. Um, and then the bold lines make it easier for babies to, um, to focus on. Got scratchy spots and soft ears. And it's the little mouse who's looking for his pig. So that's not my pig. Um, along those similar lines is that's not my shorter, taller and shorter. And this actually comes in a kit that includes a chart, height chart. Um, but it teaches children about comparisons. So the frog is taller than mouse, but shorter than duck. And so it just continues through each page, just comparing height differences and how some things are shorter and some things are taller. And it keeps going taller and taller, where everybody's taller than the mouse, but the giraffe is tallest of them all. So that's pretty fun. So the height chart comes with stickers so you can keep track of your child's age, I mean height, as they grow up. Um, oh, another great baby book is we have a lot of these touchy-feely books. This is the Animals Playbook. And each page, again, has something fun for babies to explore. It's not heavy on text, um, so it allows more exploratory and just a positive experience with the pages without you feeling like you have to finish the page before they want to move on to the next one. So it's just kind of fun to learn and to feel. Lots of things to feel and trace. And lots of animals to point out. And again, it has the nice vivid illustrations to help babies to focus on it. Um, along those same lines, um, this is our one of our slide and see books which is just lots of fun to be able to move it around. It's great for learning fine motor skills. Um, and there's just always little surprises. Um, I love that these um, panels are inset into the page, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for children and babies and toddlers to destroy, and they're also super thick. But my daughter, when she was a year, absolutely love this. Surprising animals popping out of nowhere. Whew. Whee! And then we also have these new animal word books. Um, actually there's another one on the farm and I think there might be others too. Um, and so for your animal, for your little children that are learning to speak, um, this is great to learn the different words. So you can talk about all the animals over here, and then they can spot it over here as well. And again, it has some things to fill on each page. Um, not quite the textures, but the imprints and whatnot. Um, but I know that my daughter absolutely adores word books right now. She's 20 months, and she just loves being able to play and to talk about the pages and to make the sounds of the puppy dog and the ducks and the pigs and a cow. So we're definitely going to be picking up more of these word books because the pages are just so engaging. Um, right along those lines we also have um, these word books. They're just full of an animals and food and drink and family and friends and just learning how to name things. So this is a little more generic. The pictures aren't quite as vivid but there's a lot in it. And again this is one of my daughter's favorite books for bedtime. <laughs> she just loves to go around here and to, she always looks for the bath. She just loves the bath. That's one of her favorites. Okay. Uh, this one is great 